this lecture is the extension of the previous lecture uh, that is analysis of stress or principal stresses here i am going to discuss about the variation of different stresses like normal stress tangential stress and uh, resultant stress which i discussed in the previous lecture with theta the variation of pn pt and pr with theta you can see a figure here which is showing the variation of different stresses normal stress tangential stress and resultant stress as varies from uh, as the, the value of uh, theta varies from 90 minus 90 to plus 90 you can see in this the, in in this figure here when theta is zero you can see in this figure when the theta is zero the plane pq becomes a cross section mn and hence the graph uh, showing this uh, pn is equivalent to p small pn is equivalent to small p which is expected when as the value of theta increases uh, in that case the value of normal stress pn will be decrease and here you can see when the value of theta is 90 Uh, where the value of normal stress pn will be zero so what it is indicating that if you are cutting any plane parallel to the longitudinal axis there are no normal stresses on that plane so hence we can say the normal stress the maximum normal stress p and max will be equivalent to p by a that is equal into small p stress similarly uh, at cross section where the theta is zero uh, here the tangential stress will be zero also so uh, on a longitudinal section where the theta is plus or minus 90 in that case in, in that case also the tangential stress will be zero here pt will be zero when the theta is plus minus 90 so the maximum positive value of tangential stress pt is obtained at theta is minus 45 you can see in the figure at minus 45 we can obtain the uh, maximum positive value of pt and the largest negative value of pt we can find at when the theta is plus 45 the value of theta is positive theta is 45 in that case we will obtain the largest negative value so numerically we can see the largest shear stress will be the pt max will be p by 2 here pn max will be p and the and the largest shear stress pt will be p by 2 tangential stress so hence uh, so uh, uh, here all the surfaces which are inclined at 45 degree to the axis of the pole which are subjected to maximum stress will be equal to p by 2 here you can see uh, in the second diagram there is a stress element you can see a stress element which is showing the complete straight state of stress on section just cut at the 45 degree to the axis of the pole so this was the variation of normal stress and tangential stress with angle theta so the resultant stress you can find out with the help of pn and pt uh, which i discussed in the previous lecture resultant stress pr will be the under root of pn square plus pt square so uh, in the uniaxial stress system where the bar is subjected only to simple tension or compression then the two most orient uh, the two most important orientation of the stress elements are theta equal to 0 and theta equal to 45 the farmer orientation has maximum normal stress pn and the later orientation has the maximum shear stress pt max which is shown in the figure uh, which is shown in the second figure thank you